We are in a state of emergency. Prejudice. Wrote a song about it? Like to hear it? Here it go. Free your mind. When I get up in here, everybody, I'm fucking this nigga up, everybody. I'm tired of these niggas, man. I'm trying to work, do my thing, and niggas are clowning me and fucking up my career, everybody. I can't live like this, everybody. These niggas gonna have to die, everybody. Keep fucking with me, everybody. Keep fucking with me. Keep fucking with me, everybody. Keep fucking with me. Keep fucking with me, everybody. Keep fucking with me. The war has officially started. I would suggest to this troll, you better leave me the, the hell alone. It's on and popping. Peace out. Keep fucking with me. Everybody keep fucking with me. Keep fucking with me. Everybody keep fucking with me. Just get the fuck out of me, everybody. I'm just sick and tired of these niggas out here fucking with me, everybody. These niggas are fucking with me, everybody. Keep fucking with me, everybody. And I'm tired of it, everybody. What dear? Cause I keeps it real like that. I keeps it real. to do what we need to do. However, the reality is us don't want to do. So if we want to tread and move forward, we can't wait on us. We must do what we have to do in order to move forward. And maybe the us would get on the train later as we progress and move forward. But you allow nothing to stop you from your goal. As Brother Malcolm said, who also was a humanitarian, even though he was a black nationalist, he was a humanitarian by any means necessary. The reason why I speak to you tonight is because I was able to <laughs> be flexible and rigid 
in my mindset. Because if I wasn't, I would still be locked up. I wouldn't be talking to you. So you would have nobody to stop. You would have nobody to troll. You would have nobody to make mockery of. Let's keep it respectful, sir. I'm going to tell you what it is. This is my point of view. This is my experience. It is stalking when somebody, when you tell somebody, leave no, me do you, do you mind if I get on to the next question? Because oh, now we're getting into I'm, going, getting into I'm, going, I'm addressing your, your question. Well, now, now you're getting into another round. That's not another round. I'm addressing your question. I ain't asking about stalking. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it up. Yeah, but I, I, I want to ask questions. I don't want to get into that because it's stuff that is irrelevant in, in my mind. It's relevant. That's why we have an open season because of your of stalking behavior. Well, I don't stalk. So I'm sir. giving stalkers. I, I don't make videos on you. You make videos on me. An opportunity since I'm scared. You can come here and bring your grievance or your complaint or whatever the hell you want to do. Okay, that's what I like to do. So if, if we can bypass the, the stalking thing, you can make a million videos on that at any time. But since you did say, you, you definitely stated that you are for justice, equality for all people. And in a recent video, you said that whites, and in other videos, you said that whites have routinely treated you better than black people have treated you. You said that the first time you got called a quote unquote nigger was from the black man, not the white man. So when you, everything combined that you said in regard uh, to white people, it sounds as if there's, there should be no problem between you and white people. Seems as if all of your problems come from black people. So again, I have to ask the question, why a Mississippi campaign for black people if your grievance is with black people and not with white people. What we have here is an attempt at deception. <laughs> That's what we have. We have what we have here is an attempt at manipulation. Just because I tell you my experience, and that is my experience, and it's a true experience, and it make the blackity black look bad. That's your problem because it is true of how I was treated by Caucasian people, my Caucasian friends when I was a child. It is true how I was treated the first time I was called nigger was from my own people. That's true. If it makes your blackity black look bad, then you need to look at yourself because that's what happened. And I'm very sure I'm not the only brother or sister that have had that experience. The first time you ever called the N-word was by your own people. The first one that hated your skin color was your own people. The first one who made mockery because you want to read and write is your own people. The first of people that made mockery of you because you're poor is your own people. You don't want to hear that. That's the reality and that's the truth. It happened when I was a child and I'm very sure that it happens then. So I raised the question. I raised the question when you would think that those experiences would make me hate and dislike my own. I never said my own was my problem. I am like the Jesus. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Love them and turn the other cheek. That's right. what I have learned. And I understand that we do things out of ignorance, stupidity. So I can look over that because my love for myself is greater than all those things. And as we begin to achieve some things that we are, that we can see tangible, our situation and our treatment of ourselves will become better when we begin to build skyscrapers and roads and nuclear power plants. And when you come unto our land, you obey our law, our policy. We begin to form the mindset of the people and begin a new way of living, a new mindset. This is ours. So all that will change. So my personal hurt, my personal pain, I can easily overlook 
because to hate these still would be hating myself. Okay. And I know that they've done it in ignorance and they deserve freedom, justice, and equality. They deserve to be put in a better place. Now, if they continue when they come into their right state of mind, then that's different. But how can you blame and hold a grudge against somebody who is insane? And the same person is not responsible for their actions. So I consider us in a, an insane type of condition. So you cannot blame them. Or they cannot be held responsible for their action because of severe mental disorder. And I know this. If I was ignorant, I would be part of the Tommy Sotomayor crew, the Kevin Simon crew, and some of these other folks. They hate their own. I would be part of that clip. Probably one of your worst nightmares. But I understand. I'm not going to blame my failures. I'm not going to blame my uh, 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 disappointments and frustrations on another victim, so brothers and sisters, or any other brother and sister. However, I'm going to tell you the truth about my experience. And if that's my experience, then we need to take a good look at ourselves. It make you look bad, but it's the truth. So right. it's better to accept that truth than try to hide from it. I'm not All the right. only one that went through that type of experience. And even now, who's the one that's slandering the Mississippi campaign? I haven't seen not one Caucasian person make a video or say anything. Matter of fact, I have videos where Caucasian people are promoting the Mississippi campaign. So who's the one that is against me? Who's the one slandering and gossip and I don't understand and trying to destroy before we can even build? It's it's my own. It's my right. own. So with that being said, from what I gather from your response is that black people are insane and white people are good. And again, it, it comes Still, to- we're going to get rid of this. I'm tired of that. See, you see, you see, I knew, I knew I it wasn't going to last that. long. I did not say that. I did and not say a, that white people was good and the black folk that's for them. That's what I that's, don't that's like. That's why I'm asking you. You a are a liar. Stop I'm it. I'm asking you questions. I did not say that. <laughs> I'm asking you questions, sir. You I did said, not say that. Well, that's why you can clarify. I'm not going to clarify nothing. You are a liar, and you come here to lie, and I'm taking you off. It's not this guy's. Thank you.